Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, technical manager for CareStream NDT. And today I'm going to show you on the HPX1 system the edge display filter and what it can do for your images. Let's take a look at our edge filter and show you what it can do for the display to give you a really nice uh, rendition and help you with your evaluation and exploitation of that image. What I'm looking at right here is an image that's windowed and level, you know, to a fairly, fairly nice state. Uh, but now I'm going to come over here and say use display filter and click that box. And in one click, look what it does to that image. Now, I haven't changed any of the original data. All I've done is recalculated that, that matrix, you know, that uh, image matrix just for the purpose of displaying on the monitor. So if I save this, this state will go with the image, but the raw data hasn't changed at all. So this is not really a data filter. It doesn't do anything to uh, alter or change the original data, but it really enhances the display. For the edge displays, uh, I have about eight image classes up here, and I can choose uh, any of those eight classes. Now, optimizing the edge filter is going to be a little bit of a, um, you know, experience type of, uh, you know, uh, thing to get used to. But we have eight basic displays, and those displays were made from certain image classes like uh, castings, welds, um, aero engine blades, uh, you know, so on and so on. So we choose one of those, and each of those uh, classes allows us to make adjustments to five important parameters of your image. Now the database is, uh, the database behind this is a lot more complicated and does a lot, lot more things, but to the user we expose these five parameters which are pretty easy to understand. It's brightness, the global contrast or latitude of the image, the detail contrast which enhances the contrast at a very, very small uh, level which is more like a sharpness uh, enhancement. Uh, and then there's a separate sharpness enhancement, which is a, a very basic sharpening tool. And then there's a noise reduction button. So in combination of those eight image classes and those five parameters that we can adjust, we can really optimize and hone in on a, uh, a real nice optimum setting for a given application. And once we've adjusted that, to just the way we want it. If we're going to be shooting that technique or that part or that application over and over again, then I can click this button that says save current setting as, give it a name, and then say OK. And now in the future, if I want to invoke that, let me turn this off for a second. If I want to invoke that filter that I just saved, I say use display filter and then come down here to apply filter setting and get the one that I just uh, just saved and it'll apply that filter setting automatically. So that's our display filter. It really uh, does a nice job of enhancing and giving the operator more options to, to view that image.